Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to use a graphing calculator. So you go to the y equals section, right? And you can enter in, there's a button for x. So say you're graphing, um, uh, you're looking to graph x plus 2. You enter it in like such, and then you make sure to realize that the equal sign is highlighted, because when it's highlighted, it will graph. If it's not highlighted, if that box around it isn't highlighted and blinking, it's not going to graph it. So you want to highlight that box, and then you click graph. And you will be taken to the graph, and you will see the line x plus 2. So it should intersect at 2, right? And it's a slope of 1, so it'll probably look like that. Um, and then there's lots of other things you can do from there. You can zoom in and zoom out by going to the zoom function. You can go to values um, with the trace um, key, which is like the second calculator. I think it's different for each graph, but if you go to that part, you can search for different values of x, um, where x is a certain number. You can plug in the values. You can see the zeros. That's something you often have to do in math. Um, one of the functions is finding the zeros, which is where it crosses the axis, the roots of the graph. Um, so that's good to do as well. You can also go to table, um, where you can find values. So if you enter a certain value for x, it'll spit out the value um, for y. So that's also really great. There's also lots of functions on a graphing calculator like sine and cosine. Um, log, you can take, if you want to use log, you should enter the number first and then push log and it'll take the log of the number. Don't write log and then the number because um, that will just write, then it'll write infinity because you've taken the log of that. So make sure you write the number 2 and then push log and that's how you write to the log of 2. Those are just a few different things that you can do on a graphing calculator. I'm Rachel, and thanks for learning with me today.